Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are totally transforming our hutch. You guys have heard me talk about this so many times. We always say we're gonna paint it and then we never get to it. But this weekend we finally did and I literally cannot stop smiling. I cannot stop staring at it. It is so beautiful, exactly what I envisioned, if not better. And I cannot wait for you guys to see this transformation. And of course, stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna be decorating it. Bunky and I actually went antique and did some shopping in this video as well. So I'm bringing you guys along for our entire weekend of transforming and decorating this beautiful hutch that I have hated for so long and now am totally obsessed with. So if this is your first time here, then I wanna say welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by. We have so much fun here on this channel. I make all kinds of lifestyle, cooking, decorating, vlogs, you name it, and I would love for you to join our family. So before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you totally love this hutch transformation as well. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take you guys back in time to Friday. Okay, y'all, so it's actually Friday night and our house is a complete disaster. It's like been torn apart because we have been just like trying to clean out things organize, get rid of stuff, like it's just crazy around here. But we are actually having a paint party at the Bunky Abode tonight and I am so excited. If you guys have been with us for a while, you know we have this hutch, this one piece of furniture that I have such a love-hate relationship with. It is so beautiful, but it just does not go with our house. And so I have wanted to paint this thing white since the day we got it, which was in our old house like over five years ago. We have been saying we're gonna paint this thing. And finally, tonight's the night. So we're gonna do this piece of furniture first, and then we actually have a dresser that we're gonna do as well. And then I think like a little small table. So we're just kind of giving everything a little facelift, which is so much fun. We're gonna do some things to our kitchen, and I just cannot wait to see how it turns out. I actually bought a can of paint from Lowe's that we were gonna use, and then I was talking to my mom today, and she paints furniture all the time, and she was like, Jess, I promise if you use chalk paint, you'll be so much happier because it's gonna be so much easier to do. She's like, if you use the other one that you originally bought, you're gonna have to sandpaper everything, and then, um, of course, like prime it before you paint it. She's like, that's just a lot of work, and I know you and Bunky, and I know you're not gonna wanna do it. She's like, get the chalk paint, it's so easy, so that's what we did. I actually took the other paint back and picked up some chalk paint. So we'll see how it goes. So anyways, let's get started. So here is kind of your before. If you're new here or you don't remember what it looked like, Bunky actually found this piece of furniture at an auction. He got it, I think for like a hundred bucks, which is such a great price. It's real wood. It is absolutely beautiful, but of course it does not match anything in our house. And so it has stood out like a sore thumb since the day we got it. And I am just so ready for it to match and for me to like be excited about decorating it. Whereas before it just kind of collected junk because I don't feel like it kind of went with our house. So anyway, we are going to chalk paint this bad boy white and it is going to look so good. I did get these like little knobs from TJ Maxx. This was years ago. So those have been on there. I think I'm probably gonna take them off and put little black knobs on there. And then I'm not sure about the hardware. We will probably just spray paint that black as well. So we'll see how it goes, but here is your before. So this is the chalk paint that we ended up using and you can get it from Lowe's. I want to say it was like $20 and then the wax was $20 as well, which I thought was a really good price because I'm pretty sure Annie Salon chalk paint is like double that. Now I will say you could buy also a chalk paint paintbrush. I did not buy it thinking like, no worries, we can totally just use a regular paintbrush. And while a regular paintbrush worked, I will say for the other pieces of furniture that we are gonna end up painting, I am gonna go back and get the actual chalk paint paintbrush. I'm pretty sure it's worth the $20. We learned so much about painting this weekend, but we also learned that home projects are so rewarding and although they may be very time consuming and a lot of hard work, the payoff is so worth it. So if you have a home project that you've been putting off in your house, I hope this encourages you to get it started. How do you feel like it's going so far? <laughs> oh. We're definitely gonna have to go over it with a, um, second coat but I'm just already loving are, it are you loving it babe? yeah 
I mean, I'm feeling like it's going pretty good. I'm kind of just slapping this first coat on. And if y'all wonder why I'm not painting. It's because I'm crazy. It's because Bunky's crazy and OCD and I'm not and he is a perfectionist. I'm trying to avoid like, you know, uh, big beads and runs and all that stuff. Yeah. But this is going very well. I know you're doing a great job. Thank you. So for dinner on Friday night, we ended up having a frozen pizza because who has time to cook when you have painting to do? But after dinner, I was craving some oven baked chocolate chip cookies and we did not have any. So I was like rummaging through the pantry and I found this confetti cake and some rainbow chip icing, which is also one of my favorite things ever. So I decided to bake us a cake kind of as a little reward for all of that painting. Got some more paint. We are almost done with this first coat. We just have to get in here. Um, and then I think we're gonna flip it and get like the underneath of everything. And then we'll start on the second coat. Obviously it definitely needs it. You can tell like it looks streaky, but mm -hmm. I actually put a little bit of like a second coat right here and you can see how good it looks. So I think once this dries for a few minutes, then we'll go ahead with a second one and then definitely finish this tonight. Yeah. But the bottom part, probably tomorrow. Yeah. It's a little bit more, uh, it's not as quick as we thought it might have been. And Bucky needs some knee pads. <laughs> or we're going to have to lift this thing up. Yeah, we sh I think we should have put it on our island with Wait. the plastic up on the island. Because then I could have been standing up the whole time. Yeah. But I'm like down here laying in the floor, <laughs> on this hard floor. Little knees are hurting. Mm-hmm. I'm about bruises. <laughs> Good morning. It is now Saturday morning. Bunky is outside cutting the grass before it gets too hot. I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Basically last night we got one entire coat on the top part of this hutch, um, but you could definitely like, see the wood through it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat on. Um, so I texted my mom last night and I sent her some pictures of like the progress so far. And she's like, well, it's looking good, but how long did it take you to like get that far? And I was like, three hours she's like what three hours and i was like you know how my bunkie is and honestly y'all like i love that about him like he is so particular and wants things done the right way which is so good in so many aspects of life but honestly it drives me crazy too because sometimes i'm just like let's get it done you know because that's my personality and um anyway my mom texted me back she said something so funny i wish i had my phone so i could like read it to you verbatim but it was something like with chalk paint, you just throw it on there and it looks good. If you're slow pokey about it, it's gonna look cokey. And I was like, see Bunky, you just throw it on there. I'm like, it is taking way too long. If it was up to Bunky, we would still be painting this one piece of furniture like in five more years from now. So anyway, I'm taking over painting today. I'm gonna go ahead and put a second coat on here. Put like a second coat on like the ends of this hutch last night and those look really good. So I'm excited to kind of just finish it today and then hopefully I will finish the like bottom part of it as well. It's so funny because last night I was like, Bunk, are we gonna get started on the other piece of furniture today if we finish this one? And he was like, mm -mm. I was like, what do you mean no? He's like, I'm gonna pay somebody to do that one. <laughs> I started laughing so hard because we were actually gonna pay somebody to do both of these pieces and he was like no like we can totally do it ourselves which most people can and it's fine but Bunky was like this is not fun <laughs> 
So anyway, I'm gonna get started painting. Bunky is going to finish cutting the grass. He has to do some things in our shower today. We're like recalking it. Um, so he's gonna finish that. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, update. This is completely done. We're just letting it dry. All of these drawers are pretty much done. We may put one more coat on them. And then over here, I have the first coat on this part. I still need to do the second coat. So while that's drying, Bunky and I are gonna get out of this house because we are like going stir crazy. So yesterday I actually went antiquing with my mom and I had so much fun. And I was like, Bunky, can we please go antiquing again? So we're gonna go to a few little antique shops around town. And then I will of course show you guys anything that we get. I got a few things yesterday. So I'm hoping to find some more stuff today. And then I'll just give you a little haul. Okay, so we just got home from the antique store. We had so much fun. I didn't find a lot of stuff today. We went to the same place I went to yesterday, so I had pretty much looked through it, but I did find one thing, and then like I said, I got a couple of things yesterday. Bunky actually found some really cool stuff, so I'll have to get him to show you what he got, but I thought I'd give you my little antique haul. There's just a few little things, um, and basically I was looking for stuff to decorate our hutch that we're painting. I just think it's gonna look so good, and especially for fall and Christmas, I cannot wait to decorate it. It's just gonna be so much fun. I've always wanted to decorate that piece of furniture, but obviously not with the way it looked before. So anyway, I did find this beautiful amber um, candlestick holder. My mom actually got the other one. There was like two of them and I showed her and she's like, oh my gosh, I want one. I was like, but I want them too. So we each got one and I thought they were just so beautiful. So I picked up that and then I also picked up just this like amber little um, vase or bottle and I thought it would be really pretty with just like one little flower spray coming out of there so I got that and then I found this like super old kind of vintage little cheese grater I think this was like one or two dollars so I got that for the hutch as well and the last thing that I got and this is what I actually found today is this beautiful copper little like tub with gold hardware I thought it was so pretty and I can just like see this for fall on the hutch with like some pumpkins coming out I thought it was so beautiful so got that today and when I went to the register they actually told me that it was 20% off so I got really excited that I got a good deal and now I'm gonna let Bunky show you what he got okay okay I don't know but I'll say it <laughs> right, you already got it on hmm. we will start with this right here I got this as a present for your brother uh-huh um I don't know why I guess he likes these yes <laughs> it's a PBR case, by the way you yeah can tell. And then I got this for my dad because he's a really big. Hold Bruce, it closer to the thing, babe. Yeah. He's a real big Bruce Springsteen fan, and I do not believe that he still has a cassette player. But I figured he could just like set this in the garage or something. <laughs> think it's cool. I actually got this for my um, manager. Show us what it is. It's a uh, NC State Coke bottle from when they won the national championship in. 1983 very cool so such a sucker I was I'm, I was <laughs> buying presents I was thinking of others you while are, I was there you are um and then this was for me I found this sweet Rusty Wallace Miller Lite pint glass which uh -huh. um Bucky loves Rusty Wallace he was like my dad's I think my dad's like favorite race car driver so then I like 
was a Rusty Wallace fan, uh -huh. and he was Dale Earnhardt's arch enemy. So, oh my God. <laughs> and even I love I love Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, so we got this sweet old school Miller Lite cup. Uh huh. But then the best of all, I found the Sports Illustrated from 1991 when the Dukies won their first national championship. So cool. Bunky is like so excited about this. This is going to go into a picture frame. Yeah. And it will find a place on the wall someday. Yes. You found some good stuff. So, that was mm -hmm. so much fun. I look forward to going back. <laughs> so after antiquing on Saturday, Bunky and I put back on our paint clothes and got to work. I told Bunk, we are really gonna thank ourselves on Sunday morning if all of this is pretty much done. And we did pretty much get it done. By Sunday morning, all we had left to do was add the wax coat to a few of the drawers and then to put back on all of the hardware. We did end up spray painting all of the hardware, this beautiful matte black. And I think it turned out so gorgeous. I'm really glad that we ended up doing that. And now it's time to put this hutch back together and get to decorating it. Okay, my friends, what a labor of love, but so, so worth it. I just cannot get over how it turned out. I think it is absolutely beautiful. There are so many little imperfections and places that we messed up, but as long as you don't look too close, it is just stunning. And I have spent the last five years hating that piece of furniture because it just did not match. It totally stuck out in our house. And I just like was not excited about decorating it. And now I cannot wait. I'm on pins and needles. So anyway, I'm actually going to decorate it with you guys in this video. But first, Bunky and I are going to run um, to like Home Goods and Kirkland's and Michael's. I want to pick up a few more things for it, hopefully, if I can find some things. And then also, we're just going to kind of look at other decor and furniture. We're trying to spruce up our house, obviously, if you can't tell. So I'm just excited to go see what we can find today. And then, of course, I will show you guys if we do find anything. And then whenever we get back. Back. We will decorate this hutch. I cannot wait. So let's go shopping. So of course I could not resist all of this beautiful fall decor in Kirkland's. I think I'm going to get that copper sign, but honestly, there are so many cute ones. I truly cannot decide. I also want this wooden one as well. I think this is so cute. Oh my goodness, y'all, I just cannot wait for cooler weather and just all of the coziness that fall brings. And then in Home Goods, we actually had to wait in a line outside to get in. It was so hot. Um, and then they did not really have very much in there. So anyway, we did get Daisy May a new doggy bed, which was really good. Okay, so we just got back home, and of course, whenever you're looking for something, you can never find things. Um, we did go to Home Goods Kirkland's Pier 1 because they're going out of business. Um, I feel like we went somewhere else too. Oh, we went to this store called Kurtz. And basically, I only found one thing, but that's okay. I still have enough stuff to like at least decorate it for the time being. The one thing that I found at Home Goods Bunky is actually the one who found it and picked it up, and I was like, oh, that's really cute. I really want to get it. And it's just this like matte black little wire basket. And I was thinking actually like in the summer, this would be so cute with some lemons in it. And then of course in the fall, I can do some pumpkins. I was thinking like a little like napkin in here would be really cute. So anyways, got that for the hutch. And then a couple of days ago, I was in Hobby Lobby and I got something really cute. So I thought I'd show you that too. Um, and it's this adorable little enamel. It says farm fresh organic. Um, I was thinking I would like put some soap in here and sit it by our sink, but I also may use it for the hutch. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was really cute. So anyway, I'm going to kind of lay everything out that I think I'm going to use over there and then we'll get to decorating.
So of course decor is all about trial and error. I totally like rearranged everything at least 10 times before I ended up loving it. And you guys will have to tell me about this gold centerpiece with the eucalyptus. I did end up taking it away, but I do think it's really pretty and I may bring it back out for fall. And then I really wanted this cutting board to fit, but it just did not. It was a little bit too big. And then I definitely did not like it behind this gold piece. So anyways, you guys will have to tell me if you like the way it turned out and if you like this galvanized look more than the gold. So of course I wanted to add some like cozy lighting to this hutch and I love these little LED candles. You can get them from Hobby Lobby for like $2 and they just put off the perfect cozy light. And here it is totally transformed and decorated. And oh my goodness, y'all, I am still in awe. I cannot get over it. I just think it's so beautiful. And I think it means even more that we painted this ourselves and did all of the hard work to transform it. And I have to tell you, Bunky was not gonna paint those other pieces of furniture, but after he saw how this turned out, he was like, okay, it's totally worth it. So I am so excited excited to start transforming those pieces of furniture as well and I hope you guys love this just as much as we do. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Can you believe this transformation? I am totally in love with it. My cheeks hurt from smiling so much, and I may or may not get out my fall decor this week and go ahead and decorate for fall because I cannot wait to see that hutch with all of the fall colors on it. I just think it's gonna be so beautiful. So anyways, you guys will have to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for hanging out with us this weekend. I love you so very much and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.